Okay, so we're here in Coach Darian Hagen's office in the Dell Ward Center, and uh, we're talking to Darian today about the 1989 team and and losing Salinesi, who was the quarterback before Darian. And uh, I see, Coach, you have a, a jersey, so to speak, behind you on your wall. It's uh, Anesi, number eight. Tell us the story behind uh, this plaque that you have. Well, I was looking to uh, honor Sal in some way, in some fashion, and, you know, being the fat quarterback, you know, that I am now, a former quarterback, and I know I couldn't get a jersey and wear it like all these young kids. Um, but a friend of mine named Russ Hernandez, he makes these uh, replica jerseys that you can hang in your office and you can hang in your home. And I thought that would be a, a good idea to, to do something like that. And, um, so what I did was I went to him and Russ came up with the Sal jersey. And what we're going to do is we're going to put uh, whoever wears number, where number eight, we're going to put this uh, jersey in their locker. And just so happened by coincidence, the first guy that's going to be wearing it, not wearing it, but having this locker is Demetri Sumner, you know, and being that he's from San Diego. So I thought that was a, you know, a pretty, pretty neat thing to do. Sal uh, learned that he had cancer 20 years ago, uh, you know, this spring. And um, you you obviously went through that whole experience with him and with the 1989 team. And just talk to me a little bit about how that, is, how that has affected you and how it's stuck with you over the past 20 years. Well, as a young lad, <laughs> it affected me uh, to the point where, I pretty much just gave it all to him, you know, uh, all the glory, you know, all the, you know, the Heisman deal and all that stuff. I just gave it all to him because right. it wasn't about me. It was about his team. It was about, you know, the guys that he came yeah, in with. I didn't want to rub guys the wrong way. And, you know, I wanted to go and just be a guy that just fit in, and, you know, and just, you know, okay. go do the things that Coach Barnett taught me and play within the offense okay. and play for sound. Um, you know, I think in my everyday life, it uh, it affects me to the point where if I'm feeling down about something, if one of my players are feeling down about something, I, I just go back and reflect on Sal's, you know, his story and, and tell the guys about Sal and every chance I get. And, you know, kids, you know, at, at times think that they're not, they're not getting the fair shake. And, you know, you recall Sal's story and now everyone, you know, tends to understand that, you know, Life is life is about more than than football, you know. And you know, I try, I try to I try to use that in my everyday life. Thanks for taking the time, Coach. All right, thank you.